Hey, my YouTube friends! Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another very exciting unboxing video for you. And yes, I'm going to unbox this limited edition Louis Vuitton bag that I got recently. This is from their 2022 denim collection and it was completely sold out both online and in the store. I was lucky enough to have my sales associate order this bag for me and it just arrived. As you can see, it comes with this blue leather handle and here's the bag! Ta-da! Introducing the newest addition to my handbag collection, the Louis Vuitton on the go in the MM size and it comes with blue denim with the white monogram. Besides the two handles, it also comes with two straps so you can wear it on the side. Let's take the strap out, and as you can see, the interior of the bag also comes in monogram. Since this is from the On The Go collection, this bag is an open tote, but you can always close it like so. Let me just unlock it and show you what's inside of the bag. It comes with two pockets in the back, one with a zipper and one without. The zipper pocket is quite deep and you can go all the way into the bottom of the bag. Look what I found! I guess this is just product information about the bag and also like what material it is made of. I would say the zipper pocket is quite functional and spacious and you can put all the important documentation or your ID card inside. In the front of the open pocket, you see a leather plate with the Louis Vuitton logo and this bag is made in France. Although it is lightweighted, I would say the bag is really well made. At first glance, you see that this is a quite structured bag, but I'm not sure with this type of material whether the bag will get slouchy over time. Before I show you how the bag looks on me and my shopping vlog when I purchased this bag, let me just turn the bag around and also show you how it looks on the bottom. I'm actually a little bit worried that the white monogram will turn gray over time. Alright, enough about the details of the bag. I know you must be curious how the bag looks on me, and here's the mask shot. Other than carrying the bag over the crick of your arm, since the bag also comes with two longer leather straps, you can replace them with the top handle and carry it over your shoulder. And here's how the bag looks on me on the side. To be honest, before I received the bag, I was a little bit worried that the white monogram pattern might be a little bit busy, but I guess it's totally okay if you wear anything neutral, especially in the spring summertime when I can see myself matching it with a white t-shirt, blue jeans, or even a simple white dress. This could be a perfect vacation bag, and I cannot wait to use it. Just for comparison, I also tried on their regular on-the-go tote bag in the store. Seems it's in canvas, it's more carefree, and also the monogram on the bag is a little bit larger and more subtle. If the denim on-the-go is no longer available, the classic version is also a great option. After ordering the bag, we also check out some other items in the LV boutique. And because there's a real reel right beside it, we also went into the store to check out some other vintage pieces. Seems we're at the real real. How can I miss the Hermes section? They have a wide variety of Birkin, Kelly, and Constance bags available for try down. This sweet leather Constance, for example, is such a unique piece, and I also saw a lot of Birkin and Kelly bags in the exotic skin. If you're also an Hermes lover like me, and you're not sure which size or which style of the Hermes handbag you should get, then you should probably visit the Real Real or Fashion File, cause like it will be a great way to look at all the eye candies, try them on, so that you get a better sense of which style and size of the bag will best fit your lifestyle. This is because there is basically no bag available in the Hermes boutique, especially the BKC. And you don't want to go blind when the sales associate offer you the dream bag. So coming to stores like The Real Real and Fashion File will give you a better sense. However, I'm not suggesting that you should buy from this consignment website. They do speed up the process for you to own the bag, but please know that the price they sell sometimes double or even triple the retail price. I did a very detailed shopping vlog when I visited Fashion File, and if you haven't watched that video, please go check it out. It also has all the pricing information. 
Alright, back to the real real. The bag I was really interested in was this Kelly 28 in color gray. You saw the price tag. It is priced at 24000 More than double than its retail price for an used bag. But I have to admit that this is a gorgeous bag and you cannot move your eye away from it. If you've been following my Hermes journey, you know that I now own four Birkin bags with no Kelly in my Hermes collection. So a Kelly bag is definitely on top of my wish list. Since I wasn't sure whether I should ask for a Kelly 25 or 28, this is a great opportunity for me to compare it with my Birkin 25. To my surprise, although the white bags usually look bigger visually, the difference between the Kelly 28 and my Birkin 25 was not significant. Definitely not as big as the size difference between the Birkin 25 and Birkin 30. I've done a very detailed comparison video between the two Birkin sizes, and if you're interested, please don't forget to check it out. Besides their handbag collection, the Real Real also offers a wide range of fine jewelry pieces, watches. My friend and I definitely had a great time window shopping there. If you enjoyed this type of shopping vlog, please do subscribe to my channel because I do have a lot of other shopping videos lining up for you. And since today is the first day Chanel launched its 2022 spring summer collection in the boutique, I can't wait to share with you what I found in the store. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Alright, that's a wrap and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And do you think the LV denim bag was a good purchase? Please comment down below and let me know your thoughts. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!